Hey, thank you for uh, checking out this video. This is a this is a bike update video. I um, built this bike a few months ago. Been using it as a, as a commuter around the city. We're in the midst of quarantine, and I wanted to shoot a little bike whatabouts video. Um, you know, this this bike I, I left off on it, built it, and uh, you never heard from me again. So this is this is the follow up for this giant iguana. You know, I've been commuting on this bike. It's been the, the rain bike, the get to work bike, park it outside bike. And, um, you know, it's it's got a few things along the way that I refined. I was having some headside issues. Got that underway. But haven't really ridden it too much. And it's uh, due to quarantine, of course. But it's dirty. It's It's just daily ridden was daily ridden with fenders. Fenders aren't on it now, but I wanted to go through and just uh, give a little bike check slash wash video. Something like that. I don't get around to cleaning it and it's um, something I put off for quite a while. I'll spray it down at work here and there with the with the pressure washer, but never really get in there and do the fine the fine clean as you might want to do. City problems. Um, but the bike's being held up on a tripod, as you might have guessed. It's functional. It's uh... It's not the greatest, it's got a little flex. I'll take you around the bike and show you what's uh, what's going on with it. It's the giant frame. I uh, has some, some Rhino light wheels, some Panarasa tires, 175s. My brake lever here is severed. I dropped this on the train one time and that's it. I run my brakes moto style because it's just what I prefer. Um, I have this uh, Simworks stem and bar combo. This is the taco stem. It's a real, real flex piece, bougie piece. Um, limited run. The I forget what they call these bars, but the other Simworks bars, the Nitto bars. Um, some bar ends, kink bar ends from BMX bikes. Um, an aging X5 Deroller, nine-speed setup. A wolf tooth chainring, no drop really works wonders for the kind of riding you do with this and um, everything else is pretty vanilla nothing too luxurious to talk about but this bike's phenomenal it's uh it kind of replaces the cross check quill stems but once you know what the bike's capable of whatever well on, on the other note I, I don't have a hose back here or a bucket and I've got my um, soap water right here so this is what we'll be washing with fresh. This video is not going to plan. Um, I can't watch this on the stand. It's going to fall off. So, yeah. Okay. So I, I think the takeaway here is that uh, I need a little bit heavier of soap or some type of degreaser to really clean this bike up. And I would say that uh, the real thing that needs to be cleaned are the wheels. The, t uh, the tires themselves are pretty pretty tough. Um, brake residue. Really, what I guess this is the main goal for what, what I'm doing here is I want to clean these up and just make these look nicer because it can go a long way. The frame's a little beat, um, as you may know, as you may see. It's not phenomenal shape, but um, yeah, for this thing to really get cleaned up, it needs like a, a full breakdown, which I'm just really not qualified to do at this time. I need more cleaning supplies, whatever. So I, I guess that's another project in a, in and of its own. I'll, uh, I'll, I guess I'll just clean up the wheels and kind of call it a wrap. Thank you for sticking around if you made it this far. Um, I know this video feels a little incomplete, but, you know, it's just, uh, I wanted to make something and it takes a little bit to get back into the swing of things when you're, um, you know, when you don't. Anyhow. I'll, I'll add some clips in of the bike when it's finished, lit nicely, and uh, you can see all the dirt that's left behind. I know I didn't do any close-up clips of what it looked like beforehand, but you get the idea. Just, you know, some, some slick bike stuff. Cheers.